welcome back to another Malt Man episode. If you're new, I hope you enjoy. Got a little uh, Starbucks espresso. Me and my buddy Jake are gonna do a little quarantine today. And uh, it's gonna be pouring rain all day long. So I don't even know if I can bring this big camera. We got the GoPros. We're about to put the boat in. He just got this boat. It's freaking awesome. Got a little jet drive. The Hot 235. And what is this, 17 foot? Uh, 16. 16. So it's a perfect river boat, but as you can see, there's rapids everywhere, and this boat will just go right over them. So we're gonna run up river, probably a mile, and uh, start fishing. We're gonna seine, put our waders on, seine some uh, bait, and we're gonna go after hybrids, whites, crappie, and catfish today. We're going after anything we can. Fishing for Team Ziploc today, isn't that right? Right. And uh, I'll see you guys when we get in the water. Cool. Like I said, those shad are still up there. I know where they're at. See, these are the shad you want. One? Yeah, we caught some big ones the other day. <sighs> yep, well, actually, we were on that side. We crossed right up there on the rapid and then walked over and caught them all up there. Right Alright, guys, it is pouring down rain. We probably already caught 20 hybrids slash whites. And we just set out some catfish poles. Is still on there? We got hit twice on the catfish rods, but uh, haven't connected. They might be gar too. We're not sure, but it is coming down. Hey guys, so all we're using a little little uh, octopus hook, hooking them right there. Got a little pinch weight on there and you just cast it out and it's normally uh, within five or ten seconds you get hit. There he is. Catfish, what is that? White. What is it? Can you leave it over there? Keep an eye on those catfish boys. Off of them. Before. Well, I think the only way to do that is to go get big shad or bigger baits or something. That's catfish. No. We caught a bunch of catfish over there. Small catfish. Catfish. That was on a perch. Really? Yep. So I don't know. All right guys, rain let off just a little bit, but I'm working this little rapids right here. Jake's over there casting to it, but so all I'm doing is casting it right there on the, where the rapids meet that calm water and they're smoking it right there. If my if I can get my bait to go down. There he is. Ah. Oh. Got 
Ja. He's just a little guy. Ooh. Oh gosh. About to do the splits. Biggest one of the day. You think they're all small? Well, you want to try down river? Nice hybrid. Add it to the pile. Make him, make him dance for us. Oh yeah, baby. I thought it was a catfish when it jumped the first time. Oh, oh. broke him off. Feeling drag. That's a good hybrid right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> good one. Had to get him riled up. A little white. He acted like he was something whenever you first hooked, set the hook. I, be able to do it I had a big one earlier that just swam up the current and felt like he was. Let's see what he is. Nope. A little white. Well, I hope y'all can hear me. Uh, camera got a little wet today, but it was a blast. It's about, to, it's starting to rain again right now. So, I had a little bit of footage, but it was raining most of the day. We had a heck of a fishing day. Caught a bunch of whites, caught a couple big hybrids, and uh, we're headed to the house to clean them. So, I'll catch up with y'all at the house. We got a lot to pack up in this rain, so, and it's coming down. I'll see y'all at the house. <sighs> I'm soaking wet and freezing, but we made it. We made it back to the house. Uh, we're gonna get all these fish set up, and then uh, it's gonna take probably a good hour to clean all these fish, so. What do you think about this chicken coop? Leave it in the comments if y'all think I should build a chicken coop like this. This thing is sweet. I got a big run, which I'm a free range mine anyway, but I wanna build something like this. Big enough for a lot of chickens, and then build like a smaller, uh, nesting area on the bottom for the silkies because the silkies don't walk up ladders um, and they don't roost is what I've been told so leave in the comments if I should build a chicken coop like that got some more chicks in here hello guys Right, guys it is the next day uh, just sitting here quarantining in the house and I got some fish from yesterday I'm sorry for um, the lack of footage and explaining yesterday um, as you saw it was pouring down rain all day long so it's super hard to talk in a GoPro and the footage never comes out good talking to a GoPro so we're gonna do a pretty cool recipe today my buddy Brad uh, his buddy told him how to do it and he said it tastes really good so it's supposed to mimic lobster but basically you boil fish I'm going to show you the ingredients and the steps to do so um, but I'm by myself today so I want to try it because uh, 
my wife doesn't like weird stuff most of the time so I wanted to try uh, try out this new recipe and see how it goes I'm gonna make these fish into one inch squares roughly one inch squares and then I got a pot of water boiling over here but I'm gonna cut this up while that water starts to boil and uh, we'll just cut it into little chunks so it looks like it's supposed to rain the rest of the week I don't know why we're getting all this rain but I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Quarantine, I can't be stuck in this house. I'm already sick of it. So uh, y'all leave in the comments what y'all would like to see me do. Stuff that I can go do uh, in the rain and not be in the house the whole time. I do have to uh, start tanning those hides this week. So that'll be an upcoming video. Not sure when it'll be done. It, it takes a while, the process is uh, take, it takes a while to, to tan hide, so those videos won't be out for a little while, but I probably will be starting on those this week, so y'all can look forward to those videos um, coming up. So, I got my fish cut up into one inch chunks roughly, and we got our boiling water over here. What we're going to do is take, um, he used a bigger pot, so I'm not doing near as much salt and, and sugar, but... I got about a half, a little more than a half a cup of sugar and a little bit more than a half a cup of salt. I'm going to put that in there. I know it seems like a lot. I've never done it. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to put that in there and let all that dissolve. And then once it gets back up to a boil, we will start to uh, drop fish in and, uh, and cook those. All that water is uh, starting to boil, I'm going to take a stick of butter. This is unsalted butter. Drop that in there. Put it on that burner. And uh, we're gonna melt that butter down and add a little bit of uh, this squeezed garlic in there. Make a little garlic butter to dip it in, to dip our fish in. And we're gonna add a little bit of critter glitter in there. Make it nice and good. All right, I had some uh, basil and oregano to this butter along with the critter glitter. Put this in a little jar and then we will start cooking some fish. Look how good that looks right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got that. Now, let's take some fish. You want to just take a few pieces. You don't want to fill them all the way up. We'll go ahead and just do it like this, the safe way. Drop them in. Once they float, they're done. So, they started out floating, so I guess they're done. I don't know how this works. I'm just going to leave them in there for a little bit. And they turn completely white. And then we'll pull them out and try them. So, they instantly floated. He said to wait till they float, but they literally, I dropped them in, they already floated. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's literally just boiled fish, um, white, white fish. I think it's probably done. Let's pull it out. You got to eat it while it's hot. He said it's no bueno if you let it sit. So I've eaten a lot of boiled fish in, in the Caymans. Um, they make all kinds of soups and stuff, but let me... Take that piece right there. We're going with the first piece. Dip it in that garlic butter. Pretty dang good. Wow. I wouldn't say it tastes exactly like a uh, lobster, just because the, the the texture and consistency, but pretty dang good for. For uh, a hybrid or a white bass, I give that a solid, solid seven and a half, eight. That's really good. I don't know how often you could uh, eat this because you have to eat it with butter. That butter is really good. I'll leave it in the comments if y'all have ever tried this. Um, I have not, and that's pretty dang good. Yeah. 
you can actually taste the uh, salt from the water. You can taste it on there. It almost turns it into like a. It turns it into kind of like a saltwater tasting fish. Um, maybe like Wahoo butter. I think. I think there's a lot of flavors covering up the uh, the actual fish that I'm eating, but it's really good. I'm gonna finish up this fish. I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and then um, I'll go give you a little update on the garden and the chickens. We'll go see if there's any eggs today. It's super windy outside, so I don't know how good that. So I don't know how good it's gonna be, but um, I'm gonna finish eating real quick, and then uh, catch you guys outside. All right. Go take a look at the garden. The weather here in Texas is crazy. Two days ago, it was 85, almost, actually, almost, it was close to 90, and today it's like 55. But everything is growing very rapidly. Um, if y'all remember these, I think these are the squash. Um, they were not near that big whenever I planted them. And they've already, I mean, that one right there has already grown probably, I don't know, four or five inches. So, got this little garden sign. Keep falling over. I gotta dig a hole for it. Ugh. But the garden is doing great. Now we will check on the chickens. How you guys doing? Y'all cold? Uh oh. Nope, that's a feather, not an egg. Looks like she might be sitting on one. They've been laying an egg in that bucket every day. So, let's check the... I don't know why they don't get up in here. They don't like it. Uh, I guess they like it, but they don't... They haven't laid in here. I think it's because the silkies are the ones that are laying. And they do not get up here. Because they don't roost. Is what I've been told. No eggs. So, she just got like halfway up and I didn't see an egg under there so she's probably getting ready to lay an egg um, but I've been getting about an egg a day uh, since the garden video um, I listened to you guys went and got some um, oyster shell crushed oyster shell which they had a laid an egg actually the day that I went and bought it um, before I brought it home so um, I read up a lot and I read y'all's comments and I think the soft egg was from it being her first egg, one of her first eggs, but I've gotten, uh, I think I've gotten four eggs now since that garden video. So if y'all want me to keep updating y'all on the chickens in the garden, uh, we're definitely going to do, be doing more garden stuff, but y'all leave in the comments what y'all want to see in this rainy, uh, stay at home situation. And, uh, if y'all have not seen the garden video, It'll be right up here in the corner. Go check it out. Until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.